interestingly enough, it was a uh, very simple uh, device. Here at the college, we have mats to hit off of. And to get the tees and the rubber tees, and you hit the rubber tee, and the tee goes flying, and to put the tee in the ground is not easy. Um, there was a little device that actually just twists into the carpet. And then it sits up like this, and you could put your tea in there. And you can get, and then you, it also had a string on it where you could pull the string back, which would help with your swing plane. You could use it on the putting green to help with your line. And a very simple device, but for here in our training facility, we don't have to chase after tees. You can bring your own tee, get the exact height you want for your driver, for example, and having the string behind it. Uh, you could use it on the range as well. So that little simple, I don't know how much it costs to make one of those, I'm guessing three cents, uh, but it was really pretty uh, inventive and useful. Well, there's so much stuff there, and it's a hard question to answer because, you know, I equate going to the PGA show, I could tell you don't go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. Uh, when you go to the PGA show, there's just so much stuff there, and you start checking your pockets and realize, okay, well, can't go there. but one thing that we are looking at and kind of keeping up with technology is we're always kind of looking at new simulators um, because technology especially anything dealing with computers updates so frequently so you know it's just you buy it put it in and say great and it's already out of date so i think every year we need to be looking at upgrading and keeping our technology up to speed so one of the things that was kind of on our back of our mind this year was looking at different simulators, uh, the different uh, types of components that they've added since we've gotten ours. Uh, because we use ours here at the College of Golf so much more for educational purposes than the typical simulator, which is fun and games, play golf, have fun. And that's great for a lot of people, but, and we use it for that too, but our primary purpose is educational tools. So what can the simulator, what improvements have been made to simulators? over the years to give us more information about players' golf swings, ball flight information, club data, things of that nature, and incorporate that into our classes so that it becomes not just fun and games, but hey, we're actually learning it to use this stuff and learning from this equipment, uh, not just having fun with it.